the grass is full of clover and I've got a couple of weeds there as well so I've reseeded this area um, if you have a look on our channel you'll see how we did that um, but when I've unraveled the area uh, to reveal how the seed has gone the seeds grown really really well but I've got a load of clover so I'm just using some of this weed all uh, kills weeds not lawns I have watered the grass just so it, it's going to dilute the um, the weed killer but let's see if I just do a small patch just this area here um, so a very very small patch um, which is where I've got a lot of the clover let's give it a week and see how it looks in a week's time so about three days ago, four days ago, I did this little area just down here, uh, just with a little bit of spray weed killer that just goes um, and attacks the, the clover and the plants or the weeds rather than the actual grass. And this is how it's looking now. After about three or four days, um, so the grass is still looking good, but the clover and the weeds are now starting to, to die off. So I think what I'm gonna do is just go over and do all the other little areas with the clover and then have a look at how that's looking after a few more days. And then if there's anything else that I need to put on there then um, just to bring the grass back up, maybe give it a good cut and then I'll apply the uh, the killer on there and just see how we're looking then and hopefully it doesn't attack any of the new grass that we've just planted. Still got quite a few bare patches so I uh, need to let this thicken up a little bit more. A few more cuts and a bit more watering I think and uh, we'll start to get in a little bit better. Still got this patch here that's not looking fantastic. Uh, so I don't quite know what's gone on there, so I might have to just dig that out and reseed it and uh, just keep seeding up a few more areas that are still a little bit bare where the uh, when we'd had the cover on there it actually didn't cover the area so it just didn't come through as great so whether or not I need to re-overseed it and recover it um, we'll see in another week or so once we've had a bit more rain, water, cutting and also what this looks like once uh, I've weed killed a bit more of the area. We are still loads of clover in here. Um, but funnily enough, if I can get the cat to move, um, the area that I did, and I've got a couple of big weeds in, um, is actually looking really good. Um, I've got some brown bits here. It has killed off a little bit of the grass um just sort of in this area here but the big weeds that i've got which were here here and here they're dead all the clover has died off um and actually the the new grass seed is coming through quite nicely so it's not it's not killed any of the new grass it has damaged some of the grass but it's starting now to just actually come back a little bit healthier and a little bit stronger um, so this is after about a week and a half now so what I'm going to basically do is I'm going to do the other area where I've got lots in um, I'm fairly happy with the with the results that I've got here I think with a bit more weeding now um, it's thinned it out a little bit and what I might also try is I've got I've got a new little toy coming. Uh, hopefully that's turned up today. So if I get a chance, I'll do a little unboxing video and then I might use it on this area and just see how it works out. So that's going to hopefully be one of the next couple of videos that's coming up. Um, I'm going to spray the rest of the area and then hopefully we can get it looking 
a little bit better get this all rejuvenated i've got some new product as well to try on the on the grass so i'm going to get that going and then my next job is trying to rejuvenate this area here and then the other area down this side here because i want to try and get these looking really nice um but obviously i'm using this area at the minute as a bit of a, a test subject area um and hopefully i can get this all going right figure out what's working with getting all the weeds etc under control and uh, get this area on i think i'm going to possibly overseed this again uh the top area still hasn't come in very well i've not been watering it and we've not had a lot of rain and what have you um but hopefully the new stuff that i've got that i'm going to try hopefully today in line with the new product that i'm going to be hopefully trying out um and it's all going to come together so as i say hopefully in the next couple of videos that you'll get an idea of what i was actually on about and uh, we'll see you on those ones